buy television from Greenlee's because you can depend on Greenlee's service. You can depend on Greenlee's easy terms. You can depend on Greenlee's name brands. For example, RCA is one of the great brands Greenlee sells. RCA Color TV is the first choice in Color TV. RCA Color features the new XL100 solid state chassis with no tubes for service-free operation and many other first features. And Greenlee's prices RCA AccuColor TV low, so you can fit it into your budget easily. Now, an RCA all-channel color TV is only $278.88, and even less with trade. Or get Greenlee's big trade-in allowance on console color TV, or RCA portable TV, only $79.95. Get famous quality RCA TV at Greenlee's low prices. Easy terms, too. And Greenlee's free 10-day exchange privilege. Also, over-the-top trade-in allowances. When you think RCA, think of Greenlee's. At Greenlee's, service isn't just a word, it's a promise. There's a whole new kind of pie that's come to town. It's made by Smuckers. You know, Smuckers the jelly people. Well, now we're in the pie business. Smucker pies are made a new way, with fruit frozen individually, so when you bake this frozen delight, the fruit stays whole and good and fresh tasting, just the way it would if you made the pie yourself. Look for Smucker pies in the freezer cabinet. With a name like Smucker's, it has to be good. Very good pie. Smucker's pies are available now at your Ray's Food Fair and Giant Supermarkets. When's the best time to buy that new compact garden tractor? Right now. Because here's a deal you'll get at your Case Compact Tractor Dealer, Jensen Farm Equipment, a half mile south of Millington. A special fall price tag you'll like on any model, 7 to 14 horsepower, plus a free $130 lawn sweeper. You ride away eight bushels of trash and leaves nonstop. It's worth a visit now to your Case Dealer, Jensen Farm Equipment, a half mile south of Millington. A limited time offer. Sometimes, when I walk by myself, I think about things. Like, where am I? And where am I going? I like to walk. It makes me feel good. Walking slows me down. Gives me time to think. If you like to walk, put yourself in our shoes. Shoes that go bold and brassy. Or whisper fashion awareness. Crinkle boots that give a high-rise addition to anyone's shoe wardrobe. Carefree kickabouts. Sassy ideas for dress. We're really into the shoe scene. We're the shoe market. Located where center meets Washington on the main corner of Bay City. Put yourself in our shoes. The shoe market. With foot dazzling fashions for every walk of life. See the all new exciting shoe market on the corner of center in Washington. The shoe market is famous in downtown Bay City. From the Sound Lounge in the Winona Park building, this is WGERFM, Bay City, Saginaw Midland, also serving Flint. It's one o'clock and time for the news, compiled and edited in the WGER newsroom. North Vietnam and Viet Cong delegates have called off tomorrow's weekly session of the Vietnam Peace Talks. The Hanoi spokesman said today his delegation has decided to put off the meeting in protest over yesterday's American bombing raids on North Vietnam. The Hanoi delegate propose that the next session be held one week from tomorrow. A spokesman for the United States delegation says the Allied negotiators will decide later whether to accept the proposed meeting date. More news in a moment. First, this. Veterans, don't forget them. Don't forget the discipline, the teamwork, the ability to learn, the service experience that makes the veteran a valuable, trainable employee. And don't forget the on-the-job training assistance provided by the GI Bill. For information on hiring veterans, telephone your local Michigan State Employment Service. For training information, telephone the local Veterans Administration Office. When you need people, don't forget, hire a vet. Senate Democratic Leader Mike Mansfield expressed hope today the House will approve the Senate's move to set a date for United States withdrawal from Indochina. The Montana legislator said, however, he's unable to say when the proposal will be offered. Senate sources report the amendment to the draft bill likely will be presented next week. It calls for the withdrawal of United States troops within nine months after all American prisoners of war are freed. 
In the war, a United States helicopter was shot down today by enemy gunners in the southern tip of South Vietnam. It's the 11th U.S. chopper to be shot down in eight days of fighting, aimed at driving North Vietnamese from their last major stronghold in the Mekong Delta. Sources in Phnom Penh report one of the sons of Cambodia's deposed head of state, uh, Prince Sihanouk, Prince Norodom Ravivong, has escaped from Cambodia. All of Sihanouk's children have been under police surveillance. The case of Captain Ernest Medina nears the jury at Fort McPherson, Georgia. Attorneys for both sides presented final arguments today. All that remains before the military panel begins deliberations are rebuttal arguments and the judge's charge. Medina is accused of murdering a Vietnamese woman at My Lai. He also is charged with unpremeditated murder in the deaths of 100 other civilians. The government today released its first consumer price report since President Nixon ordered the wage price freeze. The report said both the cost of living and wages increased last month. The Bureau of Labor Statistics notes the report does not reflect the price freeze because many of the figures were compiled before it went into effect August 15th. According to the report, costs rose three-tenths of one percent. Wages for some 45 million workers increased two cents an hour or $1.43 a week. The rise in living costs attributed mainly to booming gasoline prices also pushed the government's consumer price index to 122.2 what the figure means is that it cost you uh, what you could buy for $10 four years ago, cost $12.22 last month. White House News Secretary Ronald Ziegler says that despite the August rise in consumer prices, the price freeze is having a positive effect. Ziegler added, however, that it's still too early to assess the full impact of the freeze. Labor Secretary Hodgson said today that prices may continue to rise in coming months despite the wage price freeze. Speaking at a Washington news conference, Hodgson, however, did predict a downward trend in the rate of increases. The White House says President Nixon will confer in Washington Wednesday with Soviet Foreign Minister Gromyko. The Russian has met each year with Nixon while in the United States for the UN General Assembly. News Secretary Ronald Ziegler says he has no details on what the two will discuss. Ziegler says Presidential Assistant Henry Kissinger will not meet with Gromyko while in New York later today. There has been some mystery about the Kissinger visit. Dr. Paul Dudley White's office in Boston says when the American heart specialist left for mainland China, he had had no intention of seeing Chairman Mao Zedong. French correspondents in Peking have speculated the 77-year-old chairman is seriously ill. A spokesman for the Chinese embassy in Paris today denied the report. Officials now report that six inmates escaped today from the county prison in New Orleans. Two of the inmates were captured within minutes after all six climbed over a prison wall. The prison had been damaged in a disturbance early yesterday. And with the American Baseball League voting to move the Washington Senators to Texas next season, President Nixon announced today he's transferring his loyalties to the California Angels. The Angels play in Anaheim, California. It's only a short drive from Nixon's seaside home in San Clemente. In the weather this afternoon, partly sunny, highs of 67 to 73. Tonight, partly cloudy and cool, with lows of 40 to 47. Thursday, partly sunny with a little temperature change, highs of 67 to 73. Within the hour, 67 at Flint, 66 in the Tri-Cities, winds west at 5 miles an hour, barometer steady at 30.32 inches. That's news, that's weather. Rod Creed reporting. Picketing by anti-busing forces in Pontiac today forced the closing of two General Motors plants. The sprawling Fisher Body plant was shut down early today after 60% of the workers failed to report. That sparked the closing later in the morning of a Pontiac assembly plant which draws bodies from the Fisher facility. The picketing was coordinated by the National Action Group. Mrs. Irene McCabe said the pickets will be back in an effort to block the afternoon shift. She said the demonstration is to show the group's power. More news in a moment. Now you can protect your home and property better with a dusk to dawn outdoor security lighting system from Fisher Flack of Saginaw. This security system offers a low operating cost to you, plus a long life, easy installation and low maintenance cost, plus a modern mercury vapor, and the complete package includes hardware, photocell, and lamp. Available for immediate installation from your electrical contractor. Fisher Flack also carries for the office or apartment an alert alarm system, your plug-in policeman that protects against intruders with instant plug-in security. Yes, any movement triggers this alarm. Alert alarm will send through the entire area with silent ultrasonic sound waves. The raising of a window, the breakage of glass, or even the movement of a hand puts alert alarm into action to give you ultra protection. 
Stop in today and see these security systems at Fisher Flax Modern Living Gallery, 2115 Ross near Sheridan in Saginaw. Open weekdays, 8 to 5, Monday nights till 8 p.m., and any time by appointment. Close Saturdays. In Detroit today, Federal District Judge Damon Keith refused to order a large force of marshals into Pontiac to preserve order. Keith said the situation has eased to a point where federal intervention is not necessary. Michigan's Democratic Party has filed suit challenging a state law dealing with selection of delegates to national political conventions. The lawsuit in U.S. District Court asked that delegates to the county conventions be picked on a one-man, one-vote basis. It also asked that they be re-elected and that the ones, re the ones elected 13 months ago be displaced. Striking Oakland County Community College teachers are in circuit court today as they continue a challenge to a back-to-work court order. The teachers reportedly are considering the offer of last year's contract by the school board. The board last night rejected a tentative contract agreement with the teachers. Strikes also are continuing at Oakland University and in Warren, Waterford, Trenton, and the Dearborn Heights No. 7 districts. In world and national news, unidentified terrorists threw rocks and firebombs at a Roman Catholic church where Senator George McGovern was meeting with the Vietnamese today. The senator was shaken but unhurt. Four American helicopters have been shot down in the Mekong Delta. A fifth has crashed for unknown reasons. A former helicopter pilot at My Lai told today of seeing 75 bodies in a ditch in the area and 15 bodies at another spot. But Dan Millens told a court martial at Fort Meade, Maryland, that he never was questioned about what he might have seen. The court martial is trying Colonel Oren Henderson on charges of failure to make an adequate investigation of the Mila incident. Spokesman for the machine tool industry, the National Association of Manufacturers and other business interests endorsed President Nixon's tax program today. They spoke out particularly in favor of the proposed resumption of the tax investment tax credit. But consumer advocate Ralph Nader said the administration has not presented enough data in support of the proposal. Nader also said if the credit is restored it should be for only a limited period. But Melvin Holm of the NAM said it should be reinstated permanently. Here's the weather. This afternoon, mostly sunny and warmer. The high will be 78 to 84. Tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Tomorrow, variable cloudiness and cooler. Highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Wind southwesterly, increasing to 10 to 18 miles an hour this afternoon. Becoming northwesterly 10 to 20 miles an hour by late this evening, continuing Wednesday. Within the hour at Houghton Lake, clear in 66 degrees. At Grand Rapids, clear in 73. Lansing, 69. Flint, 65. At Detroit, 72. In the Upper Peninsula at Houghton, partly cloudy, 59 degrees. Marquette, 68. And at the Sioux, 64. At the Tri-City Airport, under clear skies, 71 degrees. The wind is from the southwest at 9 miles an hour. The pressure is 29 and 68 hundredths and falling. The new news has been brought to you by Fisher Flack Incorporated, 2115 Russ Street in Saginaw, featuring the finest in kitchen cabinets, appliances, and lighting fixtures in northeastern Michigan. Open Monday nights till 8 p.m. Remodeling your kitchen? Go ahead and be hard to please. The tougher it is to satisfy you, the better it is for Fershaw's Kitchen Center, 724 South Washington in Saginaw. That's because they offer their customers more than any other kitchen dealer. More styles, more finishes, more hardware options, more accessories, more ideas, more planning help, and more genuine value. Planning the kind of kitchen you'll be happy with now and in the years ahead takes skill and experience. As your quaker Maid dealer, Fershaw's offer you both, plus the world's most beautiful kitchen. Fershaw's Kitchen Center also handle all the latest built-in Thermador and modern made appliances. So if you're building a new home or remodeling, call First Shaw's today. They can make you happy. Up to the minute news on the hour from WGER-FM. It's final closeout days at Dunlop, Pontiac, and Bay City. All cars are marked with window stickers with final closeout prices. And, of course, any excise tax refunds will be passed on to the purchaser. These are tremendous values, as you'll see when you check prices as posted on each car. All cars are displayed on the south lots in downtown Bay City. Dunlop Pontiac. Reliable. Ask your neighbor. You are listening to Music in Stereo on 102.5 on your FM dial. 
WGER-FM, Bay City, Saginaw Midland, also serving Flint. Your 24-hour stereo station. Good afternoon, everyone. It's 3 o'clock. Time now for news. Bill Jackson reporting. The Pentagon has placed Army and Marine troops on alert because of planned anti-war protests in the nation's capital next week. Pentagon sources said about 2,000 soldiers and Marines have been placed on alert at Fort Belvier, Virginia, Fort Meade, Maryland, and Quantico, Virginia Marine Base, all within 30 miles of Washington. The Pentagon said the action was taken at the request of the Justice Department. About 2,500 followers of the Reverend Carl McIntyre marched to rally at the Capitol in Washington today. The object of the march was an effort to influence U.S. foreign policy, stop school busing, and put the Bible back in classrooms of public schools. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee says a new anti-war amendment to be debated next week should end a stalemate over Vietnam policy and bring home American troops and prisoners. The new anti-war amendment tied to a foreign assailants bill combines the previously passed Mansfield Amendment calling for a troop withdrawal within six months and a new proposal to cut off funds for American military operations throughout Indochina. The new amendment, like two others on earlier bills, is expected to pass the Senate and run into difficulty in the House. This week, the House bypassed action on the Mansfield Withdrawal Amendment by sending the military authorization bill to which it was attached into Senate House Conference. There are new reports of military action along borders between India and Pakistan. Pakistani military sources claim that Indian Army fired artillery shells across the border into East Pakistan, killing 59 villagers. In another report, Pakistani troops claimed killing more than 70 Indians and were said to have crossed into Pakistan territory. More news, in, more news in a moment, but first, this important words about this. Those of you who are high school students are aware that whatever way the economy swings, you can depend on the fact that a sound investment will bring a good return. And those of you who are interested in making the best possible investment in your future couldn't do better than spend a summer abroad living with a foreign family. Youth for Understanding, International Teenage Exchange Program, enables you to do just that. It's the opportunity to learn about a foreign culture firsthand, seeing with your own eyes. Write Youth for Understanding, International Headquarters, for complete information. The address is 2015 Washtenaw Avenue, Ann Arbor, or write Mrs. Roger Follaboot, F-O-L-L-E-B-O-O-T, 7665 West Cairo Road, Reese. 48757. British troops shot and killed two women in Belfast today, claiming they were in a car from which shots had been fired at a British patrol. The outlawed Irish Republican Army struck back by ambushing two army vehicles. One man, apparently an innocent bystander, was shot as guerrillas opened up with automatic fire. First reports said the man was killed, but the army said he was still alive, though gravely wounded. President and Mrs. Nixon drove from Washington to Camp David today for a veterans' holiday weekend. It is expected they will return to the White House tomorrow night or Monday morning. The president is spending his third straight weekend at Camp David. He said he decided to drive this time instead of going by helicopter because overcast weather has kept him from getting a good look at autumn foliage. Vice President Agnew is on his way back to Washington from a 1,500-mile journey which took him to Iran, Turkey, and Greece. He wound up this week, a long stay in Greece today, and left Athens with assurance from Premier Pompadoulos with his government will remain its responsibilities with the Western Alliance. Looking at the weather, mostly cloudy through Sunday with a chance of light rain or drizzle at times, a very understatement that the highs this afternoon and Sunday low into the mid-60s. Lows tonight around 50. Winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour through Sunday. The probabilities of precipitation 30% this afternoon, tonight and also continuing into Sunday. It's presently 60 degrees in the capital with drizzle. Flint has drizzle 59 degrees. 
Detroit has drizzle and 62 degrees, and with continuing drizzle in the Tri-Cities, it's 57 degrees. That's news and weather. Bill Jackson reporting. Have a nice afternoon.